AMD launches the Ryzen 5 7235H and then the Ryzen 7 7435H. We got the AMD Ryzen 7000 mobile. We have the cores, threads, max boost clock, base clock, default TDP, and then the graphics model. And if I disable my camera here, let you guys go ahead and check out all of the specs. I just thought this was cool and wanted to share it with you. So this homebrew GPU was built by a lone enthusiast. Can you imagine if they start uh, the, like if there's a company out there, like we have these kits basically where we can build our own graphics cards. I think that would be super, super fun. It'd be like building a computer and then you got to build your own graphics card. It'd be like grown up Legos multiplied by two. I think that would be sweet. It's not exactly an RTX 4090. Well, let's check this out. But when you try making, oh my goodness, that frame rate. But when you try making GPU at home, speaking of which, all right, so let's come down here. The AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX GPU is as powerful as the RTX 4080 Super and now $150 cheaper. Obviously, this is a terrible, this is the only thing I have laying around. But like the, the little emulation consoles, right? If we can go get a Raspberry Pi and, and like stick an AMD CPU in there and have that be like a 1440p little Raspberry Pi, that would be so cool, dude. And we have consoles. Like we already have consoles that have these like super small form CPUs and GPUs. You know what I mean? So like, I think that that would be really neat if AMD like focused on that. But let's get back to the video. This right here, Asus Rogue Alley with the Ryzen Z1 APU drops to 300 bucks. That is dirt cheap for, for an Asus dude, like or Alley, Ally, whatever, man. You guys get my point. It's whatever. Asus is handheld. I don't Ally, whatever. Alley, Ally. Everybody wants to pronounce it differently. Zotac launches Intel Core Ultra and Ryzen 7040 HS based mini PCs, including fanless designs. So this right here, this is actually, this is a good, this is what I was talking, literally just talking about. I knew I had this open for, for a reason. So this is what I was explaining. Um, this is why I scripted the other day's video, man, and, and made that like, because I'm really good at getting off topic when I'm, when I'm interested in stuff. Anyways, so this would be really cool if like AMD started focusing on this type of stuff where we could like have these like little tiny little mini gaming PCs. Eternal Strands is a new game from former Bioware and Ubisoft devs. So it's like a combination of these like four different games. You see how it, like the you got the magical powers like Forspoken and then you got like the parkour or whatever in for forespoken but then the theme of it is like godfall and then the open world aspect of it is like destiny and then the like graphics like the style the 3d graphics looks like fortnite so that's why i said what i said the way i said it and i don't doesn't it look cool i think it looks cool i'm gonna play it please tell me you guys think this looks cool but anyways, that's why I wanted to share this. I just think it, it looks really interesting and I'm going to definitely play it. So this right here, this is just cool. This is nothing like super news, newsy or anything, but the ability to see the world at a higher frame rate could give some gamers an edge. Do you think, can you imagine if this is like what AI is going to like? So basically what it's, it's like an AI enhanced like freaking contact, like an eye dude. <laughs> We really are. So like, the, like it's crazy that the matrix is becoming a reality. Like we're actually going to like be experiencing the matrix and you know it just as well as I know it. Like we're, we're at a point where Elon Musk has his neuro link, which is now fixing people with like spinal cord in in injuries. And it's like reorganizing your biochemistry and stuff. <laughs> but so like, so like if we're already at a point where this is becoming a thing, you know for a fact, it's not gonna be that hard for us to get like contacts with like these AI thing in it. And all of a sudden we're gonna be like living in a video game, dude. All right, so this is the one I was thinking of. So he's playing chess with his brain. He's literally using, he's playing chess with his brain. Watch Neuralink's first patient. Isn't that cool, bro? But anyway, so the reason I'm saying that is because we're literally going to be living in virtual realities, bro. We're going to be playing games with our brain. Freaking screw controllers and mouse and keyboard. We're literally going to be able to think our moves. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> can you imagine some of the crazy stuff that's going to like... I just dude it's like such a cool time to be alive, man. I think this is sick. Like I think it's super freaking sweet, bro. <laughs> 
Dude, I know, like, everybody's freaking out about AI. But, like, I think it's cool as hell. I think it's going to be sweet, bro. <laughs> so, it was lucid dreaming is what I was thinking of. So, that's going to be our... That's, like, going to be our games. Uh, this, I'm going to say a dream. So, all of a sudden, your enemy is a burger chasing you. And then, all of a sudden, the burger eats you. And you're sent over to another galaxy that swallowed you. And the burger was actually a black hole. But now, you're traveling the universe. And because you're traveling the universe, all of a sudden, there's a bunch of aliens that come after you, kidnap you. And you're now stuck in a UFO for five years, which then you escape. And you escape this UFO. And you find this little guy. And you, and you start making friends with this little guy who becomes your companion and you start exploring the universe and then all of a sudden you end up meeting the actual real rick and morty and you meet this real rick and morty and they start teaching you how to travel through portals and you start traveling through portals and then you find a portal but you go through this portal and there's a bunch of enemies whatever there like we're gonna have new theories of how the universe was created like that the so like you know the multiverse or whatever where like we're just a universe in a bubble and then there's another universe bubble and another universe bubble where it's like infinite universe bubbles which are then in a bubble and then the bubbles outside of that bubble have more infinite bubble and it's like that's gonna be a reality like we're literally gonna be creating our own multiverse and then eventually we're gonna be able to digitalize ourselves <laughs> we're probably we're probably already in that we're probably already like we're probably just all right we're, we got way off topic there oh my goodness bro but it's super cool man you can't tell me that's not the most badass thing ever fuck a mouse and keyboard fuck a controller bro i'm gonna control shit with my mind i'm gonna own your ass in call of duty bro fucking <laughs> no skill gaming just like oh, i'm gonna own you 720 flip no scope Boof, bullet, travel. <laughs> I can't wait for that, bro. That's going to be super fucking cool, man. <laughs> People freaking out. Oh, I don't want to get Elon Musk. I'm not, I won't get Neuralink either. It's too, I'm not going to let somebody like open up my head and stick a chip to my brain. But there will come a point where whatever, we Bluetooth a signal into our brain and then our brain sends the signal to the Bluetooth thing. And then that's what is is what your reality you know what i mean if we can already send sound into our freaking head from nothing just poof out of thin air oh there's your sound traveling just randomly <laughs> yeah dude it really is cool but anyways guys i'm gonna end the video because i'm i'm like nerding the fuck out with this shit <laughs> i could talk about this stuff forever dude the ai is so interesting it really is bro but anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.